Hi, welcome to yet another edition of Blaze Weekly. I'm Sam. And I'm Lily. We have three stories for you today on recycling, snow week, and news service. According to statistics, only 30% of what people throw away is recycled properly. AZ is here to help us reduce, reuse, and recycle. Students around the school have started participating in making the school a better place by recycling. New lifestyles, including eating fast food, can contribute to waste because these foods aren't biodegradable. If one tin can is recycled, it can conserve three hours worth of TV watching. Increasing population and an increase in people would create more waste, so in turn, recycling will help eliminate the amount of waste. Recycling has a big impact on our school and the environment. When plastics are not recycled, they take around 500 years to decompose. More than 60% of rubbish that ends up in trash can be recycled. Glass can be recycled 100% and reused. Make sure you recycle and keep our school a cleaner place. Signing off for Blaze Weekly, I'm AZ Kirsten. Thanks, AZ. Take a moment in the lunchroom every day to recycle correctly to keep our planet happy and healthy. It's finally winter, and that means it's time for Snow Week. Jackie has all the information you need to know about this upcoming exciting week. Are you ready for Snow Week? All right, this year's a unique year in regards to our assembly because of the construction. We're uh, limited uh, to how many bodies we can have in the gym at any time. So this year we're going to have seniors only in the uh, gym for the assembly, but we are going to live stream it into the classrooms. And then for any of the classrooms that don't have live streaming, we're going to have the Moraz Center available on the big screen. So it is going to be a very unique year for uh, the Snow Week assembly. As of all the construction at the high school, the dance this year for Snow Week will be at Eagle Ridge and the other activities will be at the gym in the high school, except for boot hockey, which will be at Neal this year. Favorite activity during Snow Week is dodgeball. And uh, the best part about Snow Week is that the whole school can compete against each other to see who is the top dog in school for every, every type of activity you can think of. My favorite Snow Week activity is the halftime relay at the basketball game because we all get to like work together as a team to win. And we dress up for Snow Week to show our school spirit. We also will be hiding a uh, medallion, just like the Winter Carnival in St. Paul. We have a Snow Week medallion that we'll be hiding, and if you find the medallion, you will get $100. We all know Spirit Week is coming, so be sure to show off your school spirit. Signing off for Blaze Weekly, I'm Jackie Cannell. Thanks, Jackie. We hope to see everyone dressing up and enjoying all the activities during the week. Burnsville High School provides great opportunity for you to volunteer back in your community. Here's Chelsea with more information on the Youth Service Program. If you're looking for great service opportunities, join Youth and Service. So Youth Service is a club or it's considered to be kind of a class where you don't actually have to take a class where you take the volunteering that you're already doing or you add on volunteering that I help you find. Um, it's volunteering that you could be doing at your local elementary schools, with your religious organizations, with clubs or sports. Um, but we help you earn credit and get volunteering directly on your transcript. There's a lot of great service opportunities here at BHS. I'm involved at BHS with BYC and ELL, which is English Language Learners, and uh, we help them learn like how to speak the English language, and it's really cool to see them like develop and stuff because it's just really inspiring. Service opportunities at BHS seem to be showing up more and more. So the easiest way to get involved in youth service is to come visit me in my office, which is uh, in the G Wing, G160. Uh, that way I can get you started, I can register you, and we can also figure out what you may already be doing in volunteering um, or what may interest you and help you find those opportunities. Reporting for Blaze Weekly, I'm Chelsea Zur. Thanks, Chelsea. Stop down to see Ms. Ostoff in G160 if you want more information. That's all the time we have for you today. We'll leave you with some special footage with an alternative ending to the Vikings vs. Seahawks game last week on. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. 27 yard attempt. Jeff Lott is the holder. McDermott is the snapper. And the kick is no good. Touchdown, Vikings. Go figure. Okay, this is us trying to get the keys for the cage so we can get the football to kick the 27 yard field goal. That, that Blair Walsh 
could not get. What is going on? It just broke our hearts. There it is. Our second round of keys to open the football cage. Back to square one. Hang on. We Here we go. Hang on. We're going. We're going to the Super Bowl. Oh yeah. <laughs> Might take us a while. That's not it. Hope for one. We got a football. Yeah, got their football. Oh, you do? Tej, get out from back there. There's a monster. Oh, it is freezing out here. About as cold as the game. The fate of Blaze Weekly falls in TJ's keys. numb fingers <laughs> on this negative six degree weather. Oh! Oh! Hey, let's go. Oh! Keeping this up, and we're hitting this field goal, and we're getting out of this barren tundra of Minnesota. Yep. All right, Scott. Scott, take him for the win. Seahawks are going down on this one. Blair Walsh, right here. Here we go. TJ <laughs> 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 Walsh. Smash. TJ Walsh is the only one that can kick it. Ready, bro? 27-yard field goal to win this game against the Seahawks. TJ Connor. Let's go! Woo! Oh, it's good! I will remember. See ya, we're going to play Washington. All right, go get the ball. Will you remember me? Don't let your love pass you by. You saw it here, folks, TJ Connor. For the Vikings kicker next season, 27 yards. Signing out for Blaze Weekly, TJ, Scott, and Sam. Bye-bye.